Hello there, I am Giant Quill with more Pokemon Leaf Green Redo. In the last part, we took on uh, our second rival battle. It's actually optional. We call our first Pokemon to add our team as a final member. We got a little airbender here, Pidgey. I did a little training session or grind. I just grinded and uh, got, even up, got green, Giant Green into level 10 and airbender to level 10 before we took on the rival battle. Actually, that was optional. And uh, we officially left Pallet Town, which is pretty cool. So now uh, we headed up north from Viridian City and now in Viridian Forest, our first dungeon in the game. Now there's an item in here, but dang it. I wanted to show that there was an item here. I think in the original yellow version, Pokemon Yellow, there was actually a trainer that had like a Nidoran male and Nidoran female there. But there's no item here, but if you go in the top grass right here, you can see there's an item. Which is pretty cool. Okay, so that first wild encounter was a Caterpie and that first... The second long counter was a Weedle. I think in Fire, the Fire Red, uh, you, you the more common, the more common of the two is Weedle, and then for Leaf Green, the more common, most more common f Pokemon for that is the Caterpie, actually. So yeah, to get this item and just try to get out of the grass without running into more Pokemon. So that'd be cool, wild Pokemon, I should say. We got the Pokeball, nice. Cool, we made it out of that grass. Okay, nice. So, um, now that Airbender knows Gust, and that's a flying type move, this, you know, this will be, this dungeon, this Viridian Force is going to be easy to get through, you know, it's going to go by pretty fast if I don't, you know, get interrupted or, um, by old Pokemon, I mean. So yeah, dang it. Okay, yeah, that's another Weedle back there. And also, if you choose Charmander as your starter, and it wins Ember at like level seven, this place could be really easy. If you chose, if you chose like a Bulbasaur like me, it might not be a good idea to maybe even just temporarily have a um, a Sparrow getting a, getting a Spearow or a Pidgey, but that's your call, really. Oh come on, that was the that was the first, you know, patch of grass. Jeez, and I ran into a Caterpie there. Let's get this potion, very worth picking up. I mean, I'm just doing it to get the potion, you know. They're helpful items, man. They're helpful items. Oh, I should talk to you, but then again, you're one patch into the grass. Okay, I was selling Pokeballs to catch Pokemon and I ran out. That's why I can never... Okay, that's cool. The cocoon is dead. Yay, nice. They're fainted, I mean. Airbender grew to level 12. Yay. Yeah, okay. Airbender grew to level 12, as you saw right there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I think he said like that. He means like you can never have too many Pokeballs really with you because he ran out of Pokeballs, I guess. So yeah. Hey, uh, you you have Pokemon. Come on, uh, let's battle him. Okay, why not? I'll take you on. A Weedle, okay. Let's use Gust on that thing. It's level 6. It's one level from evolving to Kakuna. Yeah, okay. It's kind of pee out staying, I guess. Using it now, gust attack on this Caterpie. That's also one level from evolving to Metapod. That's pretty cool. Good for you. Yeah, nice, okay. And the player, Bugcatcher Rick was defeated. No, Caterpie can't hack it. Yeah, thanks for the 72 Pokedars. Nice. Okay, let's go up here. I'm gonna be actually be facing all the trainers in this um dungeon because it's a really good experience. Yo, you can't jam out if you're in a if you're a Pokemon trainer. Okay. How much you wanna bet? I think this is Bugcatcher Doug. Yeah, like Bugcatcher Doug, cool. Weedle, okay. It's level seven. Hey, that should be Kakuna. You pressed the B button when I was trying to evolve. <laughs> Why'd you do that? I mean it's his choice anyway, it's his Pokemon, so he can like do whatever he wants with them. Within reason, you know. <laughs> okay. Okay, Doug. Let's see, sent that Weedle. I'm actually gonna switch to um Giant Green so I get some experience. Just gonna be using Tackle. And also, um, one thing I always seem to f I forgot my first time playing through this game is that I didn't know poison types were immune to being poisoned. So like, if you if you um, let's be organize these moves. But if you like um poison type and you're facing like a weedle that has poison sting it can't get poison because you know being half poison or even full po fully poison uh you're immune to getting poisoned which is really nice let's just tackle on this thing it's level seven again 
Again, you press the B button when it's trying to evolve, man. But that's okay. It's all... You do you. I mean, you do you. Ooh, quite, quite nice. Okay. 78 experience. Cool. Kakuna. Okay, I'm gonna actually stay in with the green giant. Or not green giant. Giant green. <laughs> giant green. Now, as far as I know, this Kakuna pretty much only knows Harden, but it could also know Tackle by any chance? Because it's like level 7, and make, it would make sense if like it was a Weedle and evolved to level 7 into Kakuna. But like, I'm pretty sure you just got to spam Harden. So, yeah. It's going to be quite annoying because it's going to take a bit to defeat this Kakuna, but... Oh well. Maybe I can get like a critical hit or something. I can get lucky. Get a critical hit. Yeah, it's only using Harden. It's not. It's an, for some reason it's not using Poison Sting or Tackle. But I think it. I think uh, we don't only know Poison Sting really in String Shot, and then Caterpie knows Tackle and String Shot. So it's not using Poison Sting on me at all. But on Giant Green. Yeah, yeah defense won't go any higher. Jeez, it maxed out its own stat, defense stat. It's defeated though. So yeah, that's good. Giant Green is in the level 11. Nice. We defeated Bullcatcher Doug. Hmm, I ran out of Pokemon. Still got 84 Pokemon always for winning. Yay. 84 cents. Nice. Here's an antidote. Yeah, there we go. Very worth picking up. Let's go over here and face this Bullcatcher. I might be a little, but I won't like it. It, if you go easy on me, I'm fine. I'll go hard on you. I'll go hard on you then, just to make an extra challenge for you. But catch your Anthony. Set out a Caterpie, nice. Let's go, Airbender. It's very close to level 13, which would all actually, I think, I'm pretty sure at level 13, as I said before, in like the previous part, Airbender will learn Quick Attack at level 13, which is nice. Yeah, nice. There we go. Right another Quick Attack, yay! Anthony was about to send out Caterpie. I will stay in actually. This Caterpie is level 8. So again, you press the B button when you put one trying to evolve. So, yeah, let's just guess then. Let's take this Caterpie to Clown Town. <laughs> yeah, where'd that come from? Oh, jeez. I was trying to make a bad joke or something. There we go. Oh, boo. Nothing went right. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks for the nice six cents, though. We really appreciate it. Now, like, coming up is a large area of tall grass, so... Yeah. I didn't want to know what Pokemon there. Cool. Nice. Dang it! That Caterpie was, uh, level 3. I ran into. Do you know that Pokemon evolve? Yes, I did know actually. Yay. <laughs> it's good. Maybe you have some like Metapods or Kakunas with you or something. Yeah, you have a Metapod. That's level 7. You want to evolve. Yay. Just gust on this thing. There we go. One hit KO. Nice. I like it. Caterpie, I'll stay in actually, why not? Maybe for the Weedle or Kakuna that's possibly gonna come out next. As is the last Pokemon, I'll switch over to uh, Giant Green. But Airbender. Airbender is working hard. Nice, okay. Metapod, um, I'll actually switch over to Giant Green. Give him some experience too. Metapod. Okay, let's use tackle, I guess. Gonna raise its defense up like crazy. <laughs> no surprise there. I bet this Metapod's only gonna use Harden, really. Even though it has a really good chance that it'll have tackle, too. And string shot, but you know. Yeah. So it's gonna raise. I bet it's gonna raise its defense up and max it out. Before it's fainted, actually. Just like that Kakuna earlier. Or maybe it was a Metapod earlier that did the same thing. I like how it turns like all. I like the battle animation from 
hard and it looks it turns gray and then shines a little bit like twice like that and then it raises its defense nice but i'm just gonna hopefully take you on this turn may oh okay maybe yeah okay so definitely one more tackle but if that was the last tackle was a critical hit it would be done so <laughs> There we go, Green Giant Green, 108 experience, cool. We defeated Buckcatcher Charlie. Oh, I lost. Thanks for the $4. I wish you should know, like, to evolve your Pokemon if you want to, but... Again, the, all those Buckcatchers do- You do you. You do you. Okay, it looks like Airbender will... Uh, after defeating this Weedle, it should level up to level 14, actually, so let's see if I'm right. Pretty close to 14. There we go, yay, I was right. Everybody good level 14, yay. So that's pretty cool. Here's that Pokeball right here. How nice. Or not, not, po not Pokeball, Potion. Wow, I guessed wrong on that item. I believe there's only one more trainer left. I think he has a level 9 Weedle. So he's like, hey, what's up? Wait up, what's the rush? Or, hey, wait up. What's the rush? Why the, what's the hurry? Why the rush? There we go, I said it right that time. It says dialogue right. It only took me a couple times though. You can send out your weed level 9. Cool. Juice gust on this thing. It might survive a gust. I wouldn't be surprised if it did. Oh wow, okay. One, one, hit, one hit kill though. <laughs> okay. One hit. It faints. It doesn't die. Pokemon don't, Well, some Pokemon die, which is always really sad, actually. You know, if you think about it. Like, you know, there's a lost tower and uh, that stuff in Pokemon games and stuff like that. It's kind of sad. You can also catch Pikachu in here, which is pretty cool. I think it's like a 5% appearance rate, though. But I won't be using Pikachu for this playthrough. So here's a transitional building, and here we're on Route 2, we can actually, um, tra uh, there's more wild grass right there to train and stuff if you, you want to grind, but I already did that, my grind in the last part. We made it to Pewter City, so, um, let's heal up our Pokemon first. Okay, so, let's switch our Pokemon actually. Let's go to the Might real quick. I want to buy some items, I guess. So let's see, buy. We should be good on Pokeballs. Potions, we should be good. Antidotes, we have five. Okay, Pearls heals. Let's, let's buy one more Pearls heal. You never know. I'm going to buy one Awakening, too. I'm not going to buy any Brown heal. One Escape Rope, I guess. And... Guess one Propel. There we go, yeah, just one. Okay. Okay, and then over here in the top right corner of Pewter City, there's actually a hidden item. It's a Pokeball. So I'm going to grab that real quick. I think it's right here. There we go. Nice. We found one Pokeball. Nice. And we could take on the gym, but I actually want to show off this one guy I usually skip when I play through this game because he, he, he takes you to the gym, but I want to show it off. Just cuz. Okay, you're a trainer, right? Um, Brock's looking for new challenges. Follow me. No, I think I'm Bo um, PD. This guy actually had a name. And I'll probably put his name on screen if I can find it. Using Bulbapedia? Or another Pokemon source, but I'm pretty sure it says I'm Bulbapedia. Like, this guy's a name. It's, uh, spe spe specifically a certain name, actually. So yeah, if you have the right stuff, go take on Brock. Okay, but I'm going to take him on in the next part. So this has been that my Pokemon Leaf Green we do Walk the Guide part. And the next part will take on Brock, because he rocks. <laughs> so this has been John Go again. I'm Black like the link for checking again. Goodbye. And I'll see you guys next my Pokemon Leaf Green we do Walk the Guide.